So if you spend any time on YouTube, you've probably seen this in video. It starts off in this view and then it zooms in and then it is zoomed back out. And then later on, it is zoomed back in again. And this is quite often used whenever the person who's creating the video is cutting from one part of their video clip over to another. And using this entire zoom effect just make things a little bit more interesting. And the technical term is basically a pattern interrupt. So instead of just having the same view, it changed things up. And this is the technique that I think could really add some variety and keep people paying attention to your videos. And so today I'm going to be showing you multiple ways in which you could do this in DaVinci Resolve. And it's not as complex as you might think. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. So within DaVinci Resolve, there are a number of ways that you can do this quick zoom or crop to zoom effect. And at least initially, this might seem really complex, but as you're about to see with all these various methods that I use, it's not really that difficult. And what's more difficult is actually choosing the right places to put in your zooms. So let's go ahead and start off with a real basic and simple way to do this. And so the first and most important thing that you need to do is determine where you actually want these cuts to occur. And this is where, honestly, it's going to take you the longest amount of time. And the easiest way to do that is by looking at where you have pauses or transitions from when you're talking about one thing over to the next one. So that's where your whole jump cut is going to occur. And so if you do have audio on your video, then you want to make sure that you can see the audio waveforms. And so the easiest way to do that, if you don't see it, is to go up here to your timeline view options and make sure that audio waveforms is on otherwise you won't see it and at the same time you do have other audio view options but once that's done you could easily determine where you want these cuts to occur and so like I said this is going to take the most of your time so you're going to go to your video and see like where it would make sense for you to do cuts whether you are transitioning from one clip to another or maybe you had pauses or you know dead space or whatever the case might be you want to do the cuts there so in this case I'm going to go ahead and cut this and I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here. So this isn't exactly perfect right now. I just want to show you the first and easiest way to perform this quick zoom on your cuts. And so now that you've done that, we now have this separated into two different clips. So this is actually the beginning. And on this clip, we wanted to zoom in. So this is where you have a number of ways to do this. But I'm going to show you the really quick and easy way to do it. And so that's by using the transform right here. And so one way you could do it is to manually adjust this. So I could go up here to zoom and just simply increase this right here. And at the same time, you can reposition this. And so if you look at this now, we'll watch this. So this is the normal view, not zoomed in at all. And then when you're playing this, and then it zooms in on this second clip. That is the quickest way to do it. And I think this method will probably work best for most people. Now, there are some other ways in which you could do this as well. So let's just say you want to reset everything on this particular zoom. You could go up here and reset everything. So now everything's back to normal. So in this case, if you want things to be more precise and you didn't want to manually do this, you could type it in. So say, for example, you want to be 1.35 times. It is zoom in and then you could change the position as well, the X position or the Y position. And so by using this method, things are more precise. So this is a numerically accurate way of doing things instead of you manually having to do this every single time, which leads me to the next thing with doing these quick zooms. If you already know that this is the exact type of measurements that you want in terms of the zoom X or Y position, then you could easily copy these attributes from one clip to another without having to manually do this all the time, whether you're putting your numbers or just changing this yourself. And let me show you how to do that because I think this is really powerful. So let's just say, for example, on this clip, it's already zoomed out. I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here. And then we'll go here to another part of it. And then we'll make a cut here. Now, this clip is where I want the zoom effect to happen again. So right here is where we have our zoom effect. It goes back out to its original dimensions. And then here, I wanted to have the exact same zoom dimensions and attributes as I had right here. So one way you could do this, you could copy and paste or just, you know, put down the numbers and then put the exact same numbers here. But that takes a long time. 
So we're going to use the copy and paste attributes. Okay, so all you have to do is right click on this clip, go to copy, and then go here to this clip. And then all you have to do is right click on your mouse, paste attributes, and even notice there are a number of attributes. And so what you want to do is you want to select the attributes that you want. So right now if you had video attributes, it would choose everything. And sometimes this doesn't give you the actual things that you want. It will give you everything and more. So it thinks it look really weird. And if you were using keyframes, you know, uh, make sure you choose stretch to fit. But in this case, we're not going to be doing anything like that. So uh, just choose stretch to fit here. You could leave the retime effects alone if you want. So what we want to do is we simply only want to bring over the zoom and the X and Y positions. Okay, so that's really the only things that we want. So if you see here, I have zoom x and y and also the position which is these attributes right here zoom and position so zoom x and y and position x and y so once you've done that you'll go ahead and apply and you'll notice it has the same exact dimensions or attributes as we had in the original clip so this makes things super easy and you don't have to do things all over again manually for each and every clip that you wanted to apply this quick zoom to. For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so the final method I'm gonna show you is by using adjustment clips. Now this one is a combination of what we learned previously where you're basically copying attributes that you already have and then pasting it. But the difference here is that you're not actually going to have it tied to a specific clip. And I think it's going to give you a lot more flexibility. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say, for example, we have this clip right here. We want the same zoom effect that we had earlier. And so the first thing you want to do is go here to your toolbox, go to effects and choose adjustment clip. So we'll just drag it down here. And now you can actually adjust your adjustment clip to the length of this clip. Now the next step is where we're going to take the attributes of the clip that we already have things zoomed in. Let's see where, okay, we have this one zoomed in. So we're going to go ahead and do like what we did last time. We're going to go ahead and right click, copy. But this time, instead of choosing the clip, we're going to choose the adjustment clip. Okay, so right now things are zoomed out. Nothing's been changed. We're going to right click on the mouse, paste attributes. And we're going to do it just like we did before. Make sure we only bring over the video attributes that we want and then apply. And now we have the exact same zoom attributes as we did on our previous clip or whatever clip that we wanted the same dimensions on. So that's a super easy way to do that. And at the same time, since it is an adjustment clip, you could move this around or you could copy and paste this. This is why this is so powerful. So let's say, for example, on this clip, right? We don't have it on here. Uh, this is our original dimensions. If we go here, so this original dimensions, nothing has been changed here. But now if we actually move our adjustment clip over right here, so we're watching this video, boom, it zooms in and then it zooms out. And at the same time, if we wanted this to happen again in a different part of our clip, you could copy this and then simply paste it. And now you have the same zoom effect on another portion of your clip without having to cut this clip up. And what's really powerful about this is uh, you could move this around wherever you want. Whereas if you had it in this clip, it's not quite as easy to do that. And at the same time, you're not affecting your original clip. So it allows you to really experiment uh, with your entire video without having to do a lot of different cuts. And so in my opinion, I really feel that this is the best way to do it because of the fact that it gives you a lot of flexibility and you still get all the same you know attributes that you had on your previous clips and so that is it on my video on how to do quick zooms or a crop to zoom within davinci resolve there are a variety of ways you can do this you could also use keyframes as well but i just find that a lot more complex and so if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my davinci resolve tutorial tips and tricks i do have a playlist i'll leave that in the description area as well and if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that i don't put out here publicly on my youtube channel then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there 
And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.